Dunning management is an automated process where the system notifies the customers of the payment failure and attempts to recover the payment. Imagine you run an online software subscription service. You remind and charge your customers at the end of every month. Despite your reminders, some customers might forget to update their cards which are about to expire while some exceed their spending limits and that might delay their payments. Here's where Dunning management comes into play. You set up an automated Dunning system in your billing software so that whenever a payment fails for a subscription, Dunning management will automatically notify your customers about the payment failure and try charging your customer's payment method again. Using Zoho Billing, you can configure the number of retries and intervals between each retry attempt. In this video, we will see how to configure Dunning management for subscriptions with auto charge payment modes, for subscriptions without auto charge, and one time invoices in Zoho Billing. Log into your Zoho Billing account, go to Settings and click Dunning Management under Subscriptions. Select Subscriptions with Auto Charge. Here you can configure Dunning Management for payment methods that support Auto Charge, such as credit or debit cards. On Successful Payment for the subscription, you can choose if you want to notify your customers about it. On Payment Failure, you can choose how you want to notify your customers. If the initial attempt to payment fails, you can configure the number of days under Retry Preferences, after which another notification about the payment will be sent. You can also customize the email notification for each retry. These emails notify your customers about their subscription status, the number of days until the next retry attempt, and contain links to make the payment manually or update their payment method. Similarly, you can configure the second and third retry preferences. Since ACH payments typically require more processing time compared to card payments, it is better to have fewer retry attempts and a shorter interval between each retry. If the final retry attempt fails, you can choose to mark the subscription as unpaid, cancel the subscription and void or reverse the invoice and click save. That's it, you have configured Dunning management for subscriptions with auto charge payment modes. Similarly, you can also configure Dunning management specifically for ACH or direct debit payments. You can also configure Dunning management for offline payment methods. Select subscriptions without auto charge. Enable the toggle button. You can select the number of days a subscription should be payable after its invoice becomes overdue. During this time, the subscription will be marked as past due and your customer will be able to make payments to the respective overdue invoice. If the subscription still remains unpaid at the end of the turning period, you can configure here to either mark the subscription unpaid, cancel the subscription and void it or reverse the invoice. Enable the toggle button if you want to configure Dunning for one-time invoices. If a one-time invoice remains unpaid after its due date, then we can choose to mark the invoice void or choose to reverse it and click save. Your Dunning preferences for subscriptions without charge and one-time invoices have been saved. You can also go to the reports module and select the under risk report under churn to keep track of the subscriptions whose payments have been failed and in the Dunning status. That's how simple it is to recover failed renewal payments using Dunning management in Zoho Billing. You can set the number of days a subscription should be payable after its invoice becomes overdue. If you have any queries, please write to us at support at the rate Thank you.